Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you um, a simple light effect. It's called um, Light Leaks. Um, it's in any color you can do it. The picture you see right here, um, it's already been blurred, it's already been photoshopped, you can tell. Or they have used another program, but what today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop. Any kind of Photoshop you have, it doesn't matter. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is um, you should um, create a new layer. By doing that, you can go to the little layers box right here in the layer panelet, or you can go to layer, new, and then layer, or you can do shift, control, in. Okay, let's get started now. So you're gonna add another. You're gonna add a layer, and you should have like layer two or something. Doesn't matter if you name it whatever. We're just gonna keep it. So on the toolbox, on the side, there should be a paint bucket or um, this little granite tool. We're gonna select granite tool. Okay. Um, on the top right here it should be this one so it's only red and then it goes it fades out it's red and transparent so your foreground color should be blood red or whatever you want doesn't matter so what we're gonna do is we wanna get it to this side so in order to do that we have to drag it I wanna pick about this much so now we have that effect. Now you're thinking, well, what do we do now? Because it looks unprofessional. Now we're going to go to Layers Penlet and we're going to go down to Screen. Okay. <coughs> this will help a lot. Um, you can mess with um, them. You can do Lighten, Screen, it's the same thing, basically. Um, you do that one, that one, anything you want. I'm, I keep going down. So, I'm going to pick the screen, because I like it more. So, I'm, I deleted the layer. I deleted the color. And I'm going to go a little bit farther, to about to her nose. Unfortunately, it does the same thing. So, if you wanted to go the other way, you could just dra take from right to left, and you have that. Um, you can bring it down a little bit. Now, we don't want that yet. We want, let's say we want um, a little bit more color in the original image. So in order to do that, you click on the, the second layer that we duplicated, or the original image, but the duplicated layer, you're going to click on that. Okay. On your layers palette, you should go to, um, create, yeah, create new fill layer. You should come up with this, and we're going to go to curves. We're going to open curves. And we're going to go to down to red. And what you're going to do for red is you're going to move it across like this. Go down, green. Or you're going to go to blue. Move it up a little bit. And then we're going to go to green. And we're going to drag it like that. So it gets more of that that look. So it cr should have created a, like a little layer thing. So now we're going to add a new layer, and we're going to do, let's say we're going to do this color. I want to see what it looks like. So, do screen again. So it doesn't do that much. Um, that's pretty much it. Another thing we can do to set it off, to make it look really good, is you're gonna go to image adjustments desaturate it should create more of a better look it it makes it look good 
Um, this could be for better for photography. Um, it's also known as a Holga effect or Lomo effect, really. It doesn't matter. So please comment, rate, just you know, subscribe, whatever. So hopefully yeah. Okay. Hope you learned a lot.